Hello, everybody. R. Brown, actor, producer, writer of the short film, romantic dramedy film, called Behind Glass Walls. Very powerful uh, film, uh, very entertaining film. And you'll see a link uh, with information about that below. But I wanted to chat just a little bit about, uh, as a single guy, uh, who has combed various um, dating sites from Christian Mingle to uh, eHarmonyMatch.com, Zusk, uh, and, uh, you know, brides from Mars and Russia and everywhere else that are brides. Uh, just wanted to touch base a little bit about some common mistakes that I have seen uh, as a single guy looking at, I don't know how many girls' profiles, your pictures basically are, are in three different categories. Your primary picture, which is the first one that a guy sees. It's the first one on your profile, the one that gets a guy to open up your profile. Now, I think that a common mistake that women have is that they think that they need to make this uh, super sexy or super funny or whatever the case may be. Not the, tr not the case. Guys look, of course, we're all very visual, so we're looking at your face, we're looking at your eyes, your hair, your smile, those sorts of things uh, that say a lot about you. So you shouldn't have your sunglasses on, your hats on, you shouldn't be hidden behind animals or plants or whatever else you're hidden behind. It shouldn't be so far away that we can't tell anything about you, right? I mean, it puts you on the other foot. You would want to see our basic... Uh, personality come through our, our primary picture, that, that warm and inviting picture that gets somebody to click and open up the profile. Now, once they've opened up your profile because they like your primary photo uh, and they like your eyes and they like your smile, uh, then you can do uh, what's called interest pictures. Interest pictures are those things uh, you're pulled back and you are showing things that you're interested in, your animals, your sports, um, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, that allows, if I'm attracted to you, I've opened up your profile, and I also like baseball, which I don't. But if I did, then I see you at the ballpark rooting on your team, then I'd be like, hey, here's something else we have in common. I look forward to meeting this girl, going to the ballpark, and rooting on our team. Or maybe rooting on her team and I'm not a rival team. Whatever the case may be. Guys like rivalry. Um, the third type of picture would be your personality picture. This is where you really want your personality to show through. Your, your quirkiness, your nerdiness, your, um, your anything else that really just lets your personality come through. Um, and then these are obviously pulled back. This is where you act a little silly. This is where you've, uh, you know, you've got the glasses. Glasses are nothing wrong with showing that you've got glasses. Sunglasses block the eyes. Not good. Don't ever show sunglasses in your primary pictures or up close pictures. Um, they're fine if you're taking a picture out on the boardwalk or something along those lines. Great. Um, I have, as a former police detective and a uh, former federal investigator, I have a very strong warning for women that have a tendency to put the pictures of their kids in their dating profile pictures. Don't do it. Um, here's why. If I, or any other good guy, is interested in you because I've clicked on your primary picture and I've liked your interest and I've liked your personality and I've read um, what you're about and what you're looking for, then I'm not going to care that you have kids. I'm not. Because if it is an issue to me, I'm going to go on to another profile, right? So, make your description in your profile about your kids as general as possible. I have a teenager at home. I have a young child at home. I have three young children at home. Whatever the case may be. We don't care what your kids look like. We know they're not going to look like us, right? So, um, the danger in that from a former police detective's point of view is... If a bad guy is rummaging through pictures uh, and profiles and they're only interested in, in a kid, they're going to pretend to be interested in you, connect with you as a way to get to the children. So the less pictures, matter of fact, no pictures, of your kids in your dating profile pictures, the better. Okay? Uh, now, 
on to other pictures of you. Let your pictures match up what you're saying in your profile. If you say that you are looking for a good guy that's uh, looking for a long-term relationship, don't have all the pictures showing us your boobs, right? Um, because if your pictures are showing just your boobs or your butt or whatever else physical feature that you think you need to show a guy, uh, to get his interest, you're not going to get the kind of guy that's looking for a long-term relationship. It's just not the way guys work. Um, if you're looking for a hookup, there are plenty of sites out there uh, where your boob and butt pictures should probably be. We're going to find you overall attractive. We are. Your face, your smile, and your hair, and your eyes are all things that guys are generally first attracted to. And then we want to see your... Um, personality uh, and mutual interest show through. Uh, if we're only interested in your body, there are tons of websites out there. If you're only interested in showing your body, then don't say that you're looking for a long-term relationship because it doesn't match up. Plain and simple. So, I hope that this little tutorial and a little personal opinions about my experiences uh, going through a number of different dating websites as a single guy um, helps you a little bit on your dating websites, your, your profiles. Uh, of course, I wish everybody the best on, on their search for love. Uh, this little film that we're, that we're doing that you see in the link below um, is all about finding love. So please, take a peek at it. Take a look at the great stars that we have on board already. Um, and if you want to help us make this great film, great. Share it with people. We can't get the word out about this film enough. We've had a number of film festivals already interested in this film, but of course nothing can happen without everyone's contribution. Just a little bit of helps out. So I hope this information is very helpful to you and maybe even keep you out of a jam, because that's my hope. Uh, good luck to your search for your mate, and uh, we wish everybody the best. Bye.